Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about extrude and the bevel modifiers. Uh, these are really important in my opinion because these two at least will be the first tools uh, that I'll show you how to create uh, 3D models, okay? Uh, meaningful models. Uh, actually we used extrude before so you know uh, what it does but uh, I want to go a little bit deeper uh, in this lesson. So let's start uh, with a rectangle. I'm going to start with the theoretical part and then we are going we are going to try to model some simple stuff like this and we will talk about that in a minute. So first let's see how we apply it. We know this from before but uh, you need to select an edge spline or uh, a spline. It's best if it's closed. Sometimes you may use this uh, modifier without closed splines but uh, for now let's use a closed spline and then let's click on this modifier tab and hit E and X and it will come up in here. You can select it. These are the properties for it. You can increase the amount of course. You can increase the segments. Let's hit F4 to see what this does. You can see that we can add multiple segments uh, to its length. Uh, you can click on cap start which will open up the start portion or cap end which will open up this portion in here. Okay and uh, these are a little bit advanced for now. Let's just uh, move on with this. Uh, I want to show you how to create meaningful stuff with this. So let's not lose our way. Okay, here. So let's delete this. Try this with an open edit plan like this. What happens if we add an extrude to this? You will see that it again creates a, a height, but it can create a volume because it doesn't know where to close. So this is an open uh, spline uh, applied or uh, modified with extrude. Okay. Okay. So let's think about how we can create stuff like this. Uh, the actually the floor plans we have tried this these before, but let's see. Uh, anyways, uh, what I do when I come across with something like this. Uh, of course, we need to uh, find out the dimensions of the walls and uh, model this accordingly. Uh, but for this example. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that that much. We know we have seen how we can draw splines with uh, dimensions before, but I use some shortcuts and I want to show that to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to work with the uh, metric values. So I assume that this wall in here is eight meters and this is eight meters in here. So what we can do quickly to create something like that is that we can create a rectangle and then set the values or the dimensions to 800 centimeters to 800 centimeters. Uh, let's move this to the origin as well and hit Z and this is our uh, base uh, wall actually. Okay. If you want to, uh, for example, delete uh, one side of this, you can add an edit spline on top of it. Hit 2 to go to the segment mode and you can delete this portion in here. And then hit 3 to go to the spline mode, select this and you can create a, an outline uh, with 20 centimeters, for example. This could be inward or outward actually. Let's make this minus 20, which will give the thickness to the outside and then you can add an extrude on top of this and we have our base wall base uh, walls uh, at least okay uh, let's hit 300 centimeters which is three meters high and uh, we can go on from here we can add some walls uh, in here and let, let's let me show you how i add the uh, wall as well uh, let's create another rectangle in here we can input the values of course but for now, let's just eyeball these 300 meters, for example, for the uh, length and 200 for the width, let's say. And we can use spline, uh, snaps, sorry, hit S and you can find the vertex in here and you can move this to this corner in here. Uh, it will move up. So let's get rid of this extrude for now. Uh, you can hide it or right click delete it from here. And you can just move this on top of the other spline. That's a G as well to be able to see this a little bit better. Okay, now let's add edit spline on top of this. Get rid of these two segments in here and hit three to select this spline. And let's add an outline to this as well, 10 centimeters, for example, uh, in this example. Okay. Then what we can do is we can get rid of these openings in here. And uh, to do that, I'm going to hit three again. Actually, let's hit two and uh, drag these a little bit so you can able, you will be able to see this a little bit better and also Max has a slight tolerance issue with this 
uh, it's best if you um, go over these uh, splines in here. Then what we can do is we can attach this spline to this one, hit three again and go to trim and just trim these out, okay? Uh, as you can see this way, we have an uh, added wall in here, okay, inner wall. So as you can see, I'm only uh, I'm using the tools we have seen throughout these edit spline lessons, and uh, these will come very handy throughout uh, using 3ds Max as well. So I'm going to hit one, select all, and hit weld from here. I've shown these uh, this uh, little trick to you as well, and then add an extrude on top of this, and you can see that we have an inner wall. Okay, we can use Pro Boolean to get uh, to open up door holes or window holes or you can use other stuff as well, okay? This is not the only modeling technique in 3ds Max, but this is the first one, okay? We will also see edit poly modeling technique and which will uh, be much more complicated and you will be able to create uh, everything with it actually. Uh, but edit spline or uh, editable splines are the first technique where you can create meaningful objects. Okay, let's uh, try this one for example. Uh, it's a simple chair. I'm going to just create two rectangles for this first uh, for me to be able to see the general dimensions of the chair. Okay, so let's set the height to 75 uh, for the whole height. And let's set the width to 48. And this way we have a base blueprint for the chair. Okay, the, uh, this will be the height and this will be the width of it. Uh, you can create a box and uh, also create the depth as well. Uh, but for now, let's just use this. Uh, actually, I'm going to change this to 53 centimeters because I want to see this from the side view. Because what I'm going to do right now is to uh, that I will draw this side portion in here and then create a thickness and then extrude it. Okay, you I guess you guessed it, uh, but let's. Uh, get on with it. I'm going to go to the line uh, tool and then I'm going to just start from here go here a little bit above the mid line then go here. I, actually you can draw a lot of blueprints in here for this height as well or wherever you want to sample uh, but uh, I'm just going to use this uh, this rectangle in here. So let's create a an outline for this I'm going to just go with minus 1.5. Actually, let's go with minus 2. Okay. Then I'm going to add another line like this. Okay. Maybe uh, I'm going to hit 1 to go to the vertex mode. Make it maybe lower this a little bit. I'm checking. I'm also checking my reference image, by the way. It's on the side in here. And then I'm going to just add an outline to this one as well okay let's do so, create something like minus 2.5 because this should be a little bit thicker i guess because it will carry the weight and then uh, there's a little detail in here maybe you uh, you've seen this but uh, it gets narrower along the edges in here as well so to be able to imitate that you can just select the vertices uh, and move them uh, let's hit ctrl a and change all the vertex types to corners. Uh, you know what this does. Uh, it, we use this to create sharp edges. And then I can just draw, uh, drag this along and make this a little bit narrower in here. And also make this a little bit thicker in here. Maybe like this and also like this. And it also gives this a little bit of a style, I guess. The uh, As you can see, the uh, continuous uh, outlines is a little bit boring. And this is much more exciting to look at. So uh, we should add this if we want this to be uh, to look a little bit better. So make this a little bit thicker on this part and thinner on this part. Okay. Again, Control-A, right-click corner to change all the vertices to corner vertices. I guess this looks a little bit weird, so I'm going to just make drop this down a little bit. I'm again checking my reference images uh, on the side over there. And let's attach these two. Hit one, 
lower this a little bit as well sorry and i'm going to hit three go to trim and let's trim these out okay again hit one Control a and weld now let's extrude this it looks a little bit off balance to me so let's see the final image and i will uh, we can see that let's add 40 centimeters yeah, we can see that it doesn't look that bad, uh, that different, uh, at least from the reference, I guess. Okay. Uh, of course, we have some um, softer edges uh, in the reference. In here, as you can see, these are, these have fillets or these corners have fillets. We, uh, I will show you a way to add these. Let me do it anyways, but you don't need to follow this. We are not uh, at this point yet. But to add those, you can just add an edit poly in here. Uh, as I told you, this is the one. Uh, technique we will use a lot and you can select these edges with two if you are in the edge sub object mode and then you can add chamfers to this these so that we can break them a little bit okay if you add segments it will look like a fillet okay uh, as i told you you don't need to repeat this we have out of different fillets in here i'm not going to add them i just wanted to um uh, show this to you because i know that you're curious about this so let's add a chamfer overall, a chamfer modifier. Let's uh, drop this to zero and just 0.3, I guess, will uh, be good enough. And you can see that we have something similar to our reference. Maybe this is a little bit long, maybe this is a little bit short, but whatever, you can play with the dimensions and the values uh, with, this, with this later on. Uh, what you can do, which is very cool, by the way, I want to show this to you. You can go back to the line and you can play with the dimensions from here. And you can also see the 3D result live. Let me show that to you. You can hit this button in here, show end result, and it will show you the end result. This is very cool. You can still play with the vertices. Let me show that to you, okay? This is very, very cool. But while I'm modeling something, I definitely, definitely use this show end result button a lot. So I recommend you to do the same. Let's maybe play with these and then, yeah, this looks much more uh, solid, much more like a chair, I guess. Uh, maybe make, uh, maybe we can even make these portions a little bit thicker so that they will look a little better. Okay. Whatever you want to add later on, you can do that. Okay. This was our second example. We can also, as you can see, create this with uh, an extrude. And for the last example, this is more simple. I'm not going to, of course, uh, model the pillows uh, or the cushions now uh, because they are created with uh, different techniques. I'm going to show them to you along this these lessons. Don't worry about that. But let's try to create these simple things uh, at least. I'm not going to check the dimensions uh, for this one because I, get, I guess you saw the point. Uh, you can create rectangles for references. I'm not going to look it up, but you can look everything up on the internet actually this chair these chair dimensions i just took it from google okay that's it i'm just googling for chair dimensions and voila you can see that uh, we have re a lot of references but for now let's just uh, make uh, numbers up let's uh, make this 2.5 meters long and let's make this uh, 60 centimeters high and then what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to again go to the line, create from here, hold shift to draw straight lines, as you know from before. And you can just, uh, let me open up the reference as well. Uh, let's delete that. And you can just go ahead and create this line in here. The only thing you need to be careful about is this point vertex and this vertex should be uh, aligned. So let's uh, copy the Z height and paste it on this one. Okay, so this these two will be aligned. Now I'm going to hit three, select this, and add an outline to this, and add an extrude. Okay. Let's create the legs. Uh, I'm going to go to the left view for this one. Uh, actually, let's isolate these because there are a lot of uh, stuff in the scene now. Uh, I've selected these. To isolate the objects, I selected these, hit Alt Q, and they will be isolated. Okay. If I hit le uh, L, go to the left view, I can just create two more rectangles in here. This one. 
let's create one actually then add an edit spline on top of this hit three to select these uh, this spline in here and let's go ahead and add an outline and then i'm going to add an extrude as well uh, let's make these like five centimeters long uh, and i'm going to just copy this here and you can see that right away we have something like that case uh, maybe we should have an exterior, uh, a, another piece in here uh, because we have a back. I guess when I check it from here, we have a back in here. Uh, you can add a new box over there and that will be very easy. Let's do that as well. Let's add a new box in here. I don't worry about this box sitting right in here because we should have some uh, different Widths or some emptiness uh, between objects, it will make our models look a little bit more realistic. But uh, even uh, if you are curious how we could do that, is we can hit S, open up the uh, snaps, and just draw some a box like this. And you know that now this width is the same with this width in here. So I can just change the values later on. I can just give this a thickness and move this here. And uh, let's change the height to match this as well okay and you can see that it fits right in there okay but you didn't need to do that you you can just use uh, your eye and eyeball stuff however you want okay uh, i wanted to sh uh, stay on this subject a little bit uh, long because uh, in the extrude at least a little bit long because uh, i really think this is the uh, base of 3D modeling and let's try to understand how this works let's tr uh, try to create a lot of different objects but for this lesson's sake I want to show you how you can use bevel as well it's kind of like extrude it's a little bit uh, more capable actually uh, let's just try uh, create a random uh, rectangle set the values to 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters even let's make this to 10 by 10 and I'm going to hit Z to zoom to that. And then if I add a bevel modifier on top of this, you can see that I can play with the height and the outline. Uh, you can just create these type of shapes. And you can add different levels on top of this. You can click on this to add a second level. And you can see that we have a new extrude from that cross section in here. And let's add another a third one and then just do it like this. Uh, maybe we are creating a vase, something like that. Okay. And what one more cool thing you can do is you can just add an edit poly on top of this. Uh, hit four to go to the polygon mode and just get rid of this top face with delete. And then you can add a turbo smooth for for example to create a really smooth face like this. Okay. We have lost the sharpness in here, but I'm going to show you how to add those kind of details. But for now, let's just try try to go with the general shapes and uh, try to understand what these modifiers do, uh, how uh, these modifiers work, which kind of shapes like these modifiers like or are uh, easier to create with these uh, modifiers. Because I'm going to show you uh, a lot more tool to cre uh, create volumes, 3D volumes from 2D shapes. Uh, so extrude and bevel are just just the first two. Okay. Okay, I hope this lesson was useful for you. If it was, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and also you can support us on Patreon or you can go and check out our Corona Render lesson on Udemy. If you are familiar with modeling, please go ahead and check the uh, Corona Render tutorial series on Udemy. You can just uh, search for it or you can just search for CG Cave and you will uh, be able to get that okay thanks see you in the next lesson